in the suburbs of Medina, there were Jew tribes. We have already mentioned about their treaty with the Muslims. And these tribes, they were not, and ultimately they proved it, that they were not trustworthy. According to the treaty that had been signed by Muslims and Jews, the Jews constantly violated it. And they violated those articles which demanded that they should be punished for that, as it was mentioned in the treaty. Resultantly, when the sympathies of these tribes were seen and established with Quraysh, then two tribes, one Banu Qayyanqa and the other tribe, Banu Nuzair, they were expelled out of Medina. And now that treaty was no more effective for them or for the Muslims. And the Muslims also knew their intentions. They went outside Medina, where they were dwelling, and they made their own houses or the places to live when they were expelled out of Medina. Very clandestinely, down and under, they had shown complete sympathies to the Quraysh of Mecca. And they got settled in the border areas of Khabar and Syria. Now just see, the settling down in the border areas of Khabar and Syria is very meaningful. It's not simply that they had no other place. There were many other places and it was full open area and plain areas where they could settle. But by design, they settled in these areas and the design was that this was dominating that route which was used by the Quraysh. Also, they were able to keep carrying out reconnaissance or general observation to get information who comes, who goes, what are the people of Medina trying to plan, are they coming this side, are there forces coming this side? Are there uh, people who want to get some information and collect some information for any future battle or any future war? They would be seen and ultimately they would inform the crash. They also, on one side, said to help them, and on the other side, an other conspiracy which they resorted to was to instigate the crash to attack Medina. Quraysh were already full of revenge, full of, you know, that those emotions which were against the Muslims. Obviously, their centuries-old prestige and privileges had been compromised, demolished, or finished. So that is why they were very keen to attack Medina. And these Jews, they instigated them in various ways to attack Medina. They ensured also 
their complete help to the attacking force of Quraysh. They committed it to the Quraysh that whenever they attack Medina, Jews will be all out to support them in all possible manners.